Leroy's Pokemon Black and White Walkthrough, Part 27. Hey, what's going on, guys? We're here in the Celestial Tower. And um, this first floor is kind of pointless. You got this police officer dude and this lady. They don't really do anything important. Everything starts out on the second floor, so just go up the stairs. Make sure you have your repels sprayed, because you can run into wild Pokemon all over the place. Um, and those wild Pokemon, which are new... Well, actually, I'll get to them in a second. Let's just go ahead and fight this trainer for now. Um, yeah, you're going to find a lot of these weird, spooky people up here. Like the psychic-type people that make Pokeballs float in midair, stuff like that. See what I'm talking about? Look at that. But, um, yeah, you're going to see a lot of that. And this is one of the Pokemon you can catch, which is brand new. LGM. It's a psychic-type Pokemon. It's, it's okay. It's not the greatest. Um... It's just like a really slow attacker, basically. But we'll use Bug Bite on it, which is super effective. Yeah, surprisingly, Bug types are super effective against Psychic, which most people forget, but it's actually kind of useful. So that was, that's what makes Joltik a pretty nice addition to my team. Anyways, the other Pokemon you can catch in here is Flitwick. It's way better in my opinion. It's a Ghost and Fire type. Awesome typing, awesome stats, awesome Pokemon, so... If you're looking for a ghost or a fire, catch yourself a Flitwick. And uh, I'll just take this thing out with a couple of bug bites. I don't really have anything to knock out Psychics in one hit, but um, Joltik does a pretty good job. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, we'll just finish you off with a Slash. But yeah, the Celestial Tower, it's, uh, it's not too bad. You basically just have a lot of trainers. Gotta fight them all on your way to the top. And then you gotta ring the bell at the top of the tower. Anyways, since Webster's pretty close to death, let's switch out to uh, Bulldor. Who I keep saying I need to train more. And I think this is finally the time we're going to train him up and get him up to par with the rest of the team. Because he was falling back for a while, so he needs to get up to like the 33, 34 level range. Anyways, the last Pokemon on our team is a Sigilyph here, so... Pretty tough, but not too bad. I can handle it pretty well. Boom! One hit KO. Sigilyph gets a lot of people in trouble, but if you have a rock type, you just have no problems at all with it. Alright, so enough with you, and I just noticed that's like really glary on the back screen when it goes dark. Well, anyways, let's switch up my team here, just because Joltik, you're almost dead. And I don't feel like taking the time to heal you right now, so, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, like when the screen goes dark, it's like really glary. It's usually not that bad. Anyways, this person's meowing like a cat over here. Meow, 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 meow. Um, yeah, a couple of the people in here aren't the weird psycho people. They're just regular lasses or whatever, but... Yeah, she has a deerling on her team, so good thing I put up Porky, my fire type. So let's take this thing out, and Porky is actually pretty dang close to um, evolving into his final form, Embor. Which is going to be pretty awesome. But yeah, Deerling is a grass type, so it goes down pretty easily. So we will move on now that we got Bambi out of the way. Yeah, I swear that thing looks exactly like Bambi every time I see it. Um, anyways, last up here is a Gothita, so let's just stay in. We can knock this thing out pretty easily. But yeah, if you haven't added a fire type to your team, I highly recommend Flitwick. Um, I, get, I, of course, started with uh, Tepig, and a lot of people get uh, Panseer or... Darmanitan, but if you haven't gotten any of those Pokemon, yeah, Flitwick is one of the best fire types you can get in the game. Probably a tie between um, Darmanitan and Flitwick. It has really good special attacking stats, so it's just awesome. Ghost and fire type. Who doesn't want a ghost and fire type on their team? That is awesome. Anyways, there's a Hyper Potion right there. And uh, let's actually take Porky out. Put my Gabbro back up because he really needs to... I keep saying I'm going to use him, so I should probably just go ahead and use him. But yeah, Celestial Tower is like the... You got all these tombstones everywhere. It's like the dead Pokemon place. It, they do this all the time in Pokemon games. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but they always want to put some spot with, like, Pokemon graves and stuff. It's like, geez, who wants to think about dead Pokemon? It just takes all the fun out of it. Like, they did it in the original game with uh, the Pokemon Tower. They did it in the third game with Mount Pyre. It's like, no, oh, why do you always do this? They did it in the fourth game, too, although I can't remember what the place is called. Um, anyways, let's just go ahead and use some Rock Slide here on the Samolga. Acrobatics, that's hardly going to do anything. 
All right, so this should get Gabbro up to level 32, actually. And if you're wondering when I'm going to evolve my Bulldore, I said I was going to do it after the next gym, all right? So um, if you really want to help me evolve him after trading, then send me a message like right after I fight the gym leader. Try to be the first person, then maybe you'll get chosen. All right, so Herdier, you're going to intimidate me, whatever. Ooh, Quick Claw, nice. There we go, Rock Slide. Dang it, this is going to be difficult. I hate Intimidate. It's, oh, it's the worst. All right. Because look at that. It's like I can't knock you out in two hits. You just screwed me over. Oh, you're going to roar. All right. Well, now you got to deal with Gothita, so nice job, Herdier. If that's what you want to do, that's what you're going to get. Sushock! I actually just hate Herdier. So annoying. Oh, crap, Crunch. All right, that's fine. We'll knock you out. What hyper potion? No, you can't use hyper potions. Who do you think you are? Only I can use hyper potions. You freaking cheater! I hate when the game does this. No, regular trainers are not supposed to use potions. This is an outrage. All right, let's switch. I don't want you to die. Wow, this is. When do trainers, regular old trainers, when do they use potions? Never. It doesn't happen. It should never happen. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, so arm thrust will knock you out. I am sick of your stupid face, Herdier. Get out of here. I don't care if you're a man's best friend. You are my least favorite person in the world. And what the heck? You live with, like, one hit point. All right, it's okay. You're going to knock yourself out with takedown. How? This is ridiculous. This whole battle is just ridiculous. Now my Porky dies. <sighs> Terrible. All right, let's just finish things up and battle this trainer, and then I'll have to go back and heal because everyone's getting beat up here in the tower, which is unfortunate because it shouldn't be the case. I, sh I should be knocking everyone out in one hit, but instead I keep getting screwed over. God, stupid trainers using hyper potions. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, here's Pokefan Georgia. Apparently some people like naming their kids after random states. Wonder if she has a sister named Kentucky and a brother named Louisiana. Now I guess George is actually a regular name. I shouldn't make fun of it too much. All right, cool. So Rockslide will knock out the Swadloon. That would actually be so funny to just name your kids random states. Like here's my son West Virginia, <laughs> and my daughter is New Hampshire. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna grab this item right here, and then I'm gonna go back and heal at the Healing House right before the Celestial Tower. There's TM61 Will-O-Wisp, if you want to burn your opponents, teach them Will-O-Wisp. Um, anyways, yeah, I will be back, I'm going to cut this out, and when we return, I will be fully healed up and ready to go to the next floor of the tower. See you all in a second. Alright, we are ready to go here, so... Dramatic pause, I don't know what that was for. Um, yeah, I'm up the stairs, and I sprayed some more repels, we're ready to go. And we got a bunch of trainers on this floor, like so many trainers, everyone, everywhere. And yeah, this psychic right here just predicted that I am a Pokemon trainer, which is amazing. Who would have ever guessed I'd be a Pokemon trainer in the world of Pokemon? But yeah, this is where stuff actually gets pretty difficult because you got a Masharna here. I think this floor has some more tough Pokemon as well as the next floor. Anyways, I don't know why Jungle Gym's up in the front, but I guess he can handle this pretty well. I must have put him up front for a reason, so whatever. Yeah, with uh, Jungle Gym, I can either use Seed Bomb or Bite. Bite is super effective, but Seed Bomb is a little more powerful. So it's basically even damage. Actually, it is even damage, but because of my Miracle Seed, Grass types do a little bit more, so that's why I'm using Seed Bomb. And we'll finish you off with a Bite, though. All right, that wasn't too bad. So that'll get him up to level 33. Ooh, check it out! Exactly 100 hit points. That is perfect. Alright, let's just keep rolling here with uh, Simi Sage because he is dominating as he always does. Alright, so here we go, another trainer. Yeah, they just pack so many trainers in like a tight area here, it's annoying. Psychic Mickey has a Yamask. Alright. Um, the ghost type, Yamas, pretty fitting for the Celestial Tower. Let's go ahead and throw some seed bombs at it. 
Seed Bomb is like my favorite move of all time. I love Seed Bomb. You need to make sure you don't evolve your uh, Pan Sage before you get Seed Bomb. You definitely want Seed Bomb. Alright, so Yamas goes down. That wasn't too tough. I actually thought that might be a little harder because he has good defenses, but I guess Jungle Gym is just that awesome. And Golet is the next Pokemon. We've actually never seen Golet before. It's a uh, ground and ghost type. Pretty interesting typing, ground and ghost. You can't catch it yet in the game, though. Um, you don't catch it here in the tower. You catch it later on in a different tower. Um, that's not until later on in the game. It's a pretty decent Pokemon. Anyways, um, let's switch up the team again, shall we? I'm going to spread the love around a little more. I don't like sending out the same Pokemon too many times in a row, so that's why I always switch constantly. Alright, so this person's talking about wandering spirits, which kind of creeps me out. Because the more I think about spirits and stuff, the more I just go insane, so... Anyways, here's uh, Litwick. I think I was calling you Flitwick before. Why would I call you Flitwick? You are not... You are Litwick. Oh, wait, I know. It's because Flitwick is that guy from Harry Potter. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. If you go back to the video, I think when I, when I was describing it earlier, I was calling it Flitwick. But in my mind, I was thinking of Litwick, but... Yeah, remember that little professor from Harry Potter, the really short guy? Professor Flitwick? That's actually hilarious. Anyways, um... Now I feel like... Ah, I don't want to go back and redo the video just so I can fix the name, so... You can all laugh at me for calling it Flitwick. Anyways, Harry Potter ingrained in my mind since I was like five years old. The greatest books ever, by the way, Harry Potter. Um, and the greatest movies ever, Harry Potter. Anyways, let's continue along. Fight some more trainers here. By the way, that trainer at the very bottom of the screen will heal up your Pokemon after you fight her, so keep that in mind. Anyways, yeah, a couple more trainers here on this floor. Psychic Bryce. And this is one of those Pokemon that I can't figure out how to pronounce their name, but I think it's Duosian or something like that. It's the evolved form of Solosis. It's a psychic type. Um, pretty good Pokemon, but Gabbro can handle it. Ooh, and Quick Claw Boost. Nice. And Rock Slide will hit first. Hopefully we'll knock you out. No, not quite. Anyways, Psy Shock. That is totally my move with Gothita. But whatever, we'll finish you off with the Strength. Just because strength I know won't miss, and my rock types probably will right when I need them to hit, so. And dang, Gabbro is just gaining experience like crazy in this video. Anyways, let's grab this item. Spell tag. And let's go and fight this last trainer. Oh, but wait, hold on a sec. Let me make sure I have... No, 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 I want Joltik up front for this one. Because I think this person has a water type on her team. Anyways, let's do this. Yeah, this is one of those nurse people. I really like how they stick these um, nurses and doctor people throughout, like, the some of the caves and just, like, big areas and stuff. It's really convenient because then you don't need to go back to the Pokemon Center and all that crap. Anyway, she's got a Gothita to start out, so this should be easy for Webster. I'm actually looking forward to learning the move Bug Buzz, which is a special attacking bug type. Which is going to be way more pow powerful than Bug Bite. Mainly because Webster is purely a special attacker. Well, I shouldn't say purely, but mostly a special attacker. And check it out. I am confused. That is amazing. That just makes me feel great. Oh, and that just makes me feel better. I hit myself in confusion. Oh, crap. Future Sight. See, this is the crap that happens when you get confused. The opponent uses Future Sight. I hate when someone else uses Future Sight on you, because it's like, it doesn't attack you yet, but then you just have to sit around and wait to get attacked. Oh, that's terrible. Because you know it's coming, too. Um, anyways, this is the water type I was thinking of. Olomomola. The weirdest looking fish you'll ever see in your life. Um, anyways. Oh, protect. You're stalling out for the future sight. I hate you. Wow, and I didn't hit myself in confusion. So I... There's the future sights! No! And since Flatter boosted up my special attack, I can actually probably knock you out in one hit. Or I can just keep hitting myself in confusion. That's perfectly fine. That's exactly what I want to have happen. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, Aloma Mola's name is a palindrome, if you didn't notice. You can spell it the same frontwards or backwards. Yeah, just like EV and just like race card. What the heck? You lived with one hit point. Why? Seriously, just 
Die, you stupid pink fish. Just Now you're going to kill me. This is just... all. The, it's all because of the confusion. Confusion will screw you over. It will always find a way to screw you over, no matter what game you're playing, whether it be red version, silver version, ruby version, whatever you're playing, confusion will always find a way to screw you over. And more hyper potions! Come on, are you kidding me right now? I thought I could just send in Gothita and get the quick kill, but no. You need to do this stupid hyper potion crap. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, let's use Future Sight. Which is nice, because you're going to use Protect anyways. Alright, you know what? Alomomoa, you stupid pink fish. I don't like you, so I'm going to paralyze you. I'm just going to do whatever it takes to make your life miserable. How are you even fighting me? You're a fish. There's no water here in the Celestial Tower. How are you surviving? This is ridiculous. Alright, Water Pulse. Um, let's just go for some Psy Shock. I will... I'm the... Full heal, okay, you you are the most annoying trainer ever. Hyper potions, full heals, wh what's next? Seriously? I mean, I know you're a nurse, but why do you have to have healing items? God, okay. Psy shock. finally I'm going to kill this thing. Ah, <sighs> terrible. What, did you, you did it again, you lived with, why do you have to do this? Why do you have to keep living with one little hit point? If you use another hyper potion, oh, thank you so much. There we go! We finally killed this thing! Why was this, like, the biggest challenge of the video, killing this stupid fish? Gosh! I hate my life. Alright. Level 32 for Drag Queen. Perfect! Because if you, uh, know a little bit about Gothita, you will know that it evolves at this level. So here we go! Finally evolving Gothita into Gotharita. Let's sit back and watch. All right, there we go. Gotharita. And in about ten more levels, it will actually evolve again for a third time. Or for a second time into the third stage. Anyways, um, at least she he she heals up her Pokemon. I mean, that's the least she can do after giving me all of that trouble. So there we go. Our Pokemon are healthy, and we can continue along here. Up the stairs. These stairs are so long. Like, this place needs an elevator or something. Anyways, we got a couple more trainers. This is actually it. It's two more trainers and we are done. Um, TM65 Shadow Claw, a pretty good ghost type move. Physical attack. Um, not not a bad move to teach your Pokemon. Good against psychic types. I actually should probably teach that to uh, maybe Jungle Gym or something like that. I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyways, here's an Ace Trainer. Um, she's got a Swoobat. Yeah, we've seen plenty of Woobats, but not a ton of Swoobats, but... Let's see what Joltik can do here. Um, I do have electric type, so it shouldn't be too hard. Electro Web. I love Electro Web because it also slows down the opponent, so you're pretty much sure to get um, the first hit. Well, I'm actually surprised it outsped me. But I guess. Whoa! Check it out! Finally, I live with one hit point. For once, I get the satisfaction of barely living when I should have died. Thank you, game, for. Yes! I am so happy. Alright, so I better switch out, though, because Gotharita's next. I am so pumped that I just lived with one hit point. That is the best feeling in the world, when it's like, you know, you know very well you should have been killed, but you just barely lived. But yeah, Mr. Toad, you have not yet entered the battlefield in this video, so it's your turn to shine. And I actually think he learns a move um, at the next level, but I don't remember what it is, so we'll just have to figure out. Alright, nice, we burned it. See, now luck is on my side for once. Finally. But, of course, I get confused again. Confusion never ends well for anybody. That is a fact right there. Oh, but nice, we actually hit that time. Alright, so hopefully we can just keep this trend going. Oh, nice, you're actually going to get knocked out, so this is perfect. We avoided the terrors of confusion this time around. See, this is what I'm talking about. Luck is rolling back on my side for once. Actually, I shouldn't complain because I actually get lucky very frequently. And I guess the move is Rain Dance. I forgot I learned that move here, so I guess I don't need to buy the TM for Rain Dance. Anyways, we'll get rid of the move Uproar. I don't really use it. But definitely teach Rain Dance to your um, Palpitoad because if it has the Swift Swim ability then you are, it's money in the bank because it doubles your speed and boosts up your water type moves an extra 50%. So that is awesome. 
Anyways, I guess we're fighting this trainer next, so let's see what he's got on his team. And this is the last trainer we have to fight here in the Celestial Tower. And we just hit the 20-minute mark for this video. Pretty much, it seems like all my videos these days are over 20 minutes. They take forever to make, but it's it's all good fun. Anyways, Stoutland. I did not see that coming. I don't think we've seen Stoutland yet, but it's the evolved form of Herdier. And holy crap, I only have one hit point left. What am I doing here? Why did I forget to take out Webster? All right, let's switch over to Porky. Um, but yeah, Stoutland is freaking weird looking. Like, look at this thing. It has like a giant beard. It looks like it has a giant beard coming down to its legs, which is just creepy, but... Yeah, it's like the hairiest dog you'll ever see in your life, but it's actually a really good Pokemon. Good attack, good defenses, good speed, it's just like, it can do everything. Dang it, you're gonna live, alright. Um, you're probably gonna kill me now with a takedown, this is unfortunate. I hate to see Porky go down two times in one video. But I guess that's what I get when I mess with Stoutland, right? Anyways, who wants to go in and get the cheap kill? Let's just go over to uh, Gotharita. Just so I can see what you look like with your back sprite. Alright, so if, please don't use a Hyper Potion. Oh, thank goodness. And you missed. Alright, perfect. Perfect. See, this is what I'm saying. Luck's back on my side for once. Um, so Stout one's going to go down. That is a bunch of experience there for Webster and Drag Queen. But yeah, you can see what I'm saying with Gotharita. Like, you can tell even more when it evolves just how girly it is. So it's just hilarious that I have a male version of it. Anyways, there's a revive, and let's go up the stairs one last time, up to the top of the tower. And there she is, my girl, Skyla. My favorite girl in the world. Anyways, there's the bell. Um, she's going to talk to you for a while. I can't really understand anything she's saying because I'm lost in her eyes. Um, anyway, she's going to just talk about some random stuff. She pretty much just tells you to ring the bell when this is all said and done. I really don't understand why we have to do this to get into the gym, but the game always makes you do stupid things before you can progress and get to the next gym, so... Anyways, let's ring the Celestial Tower bell. And this little animation's pretty cool with the clouds, like... Look at all those clouds. There are so many clouds down there. Like, you cannot see any of the sky. It's all just clouds. Anyways, she's like, what a pretty sound. You are a kind and strong person. I don't know how ringing a bell makes me a kind and strong person, but, you know, if that's what she wants to think about me, then so be it, because <laughs> that is fine with me. Yeah, so there goes Skyla. And you know what? I should have asked for her number. Why did I let her get away from me like that? Anyways, let's use our escape ropes and get out of here so we can actually go and fight the gym. Um, escape ropes, where are you? I just bought you. I know I have you in here some here, somewhere, some here's not a word. There you are, escape ropes. All right, let's use these. Wait, it won't let me use them. What the heck? Okay, this is stupid. I guess we're just going to have to take the stairs. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video when we're fighting the gym leader. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you all next time.